Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. We are going to go do a couple more Borgia Towers and Viewpoints, just to clear up this part of the city. And then we're going to continue on with a bunch of story missions in this episode. Because most of what we do... Oh, I don't know... Oh, we're not going over there, I was about to say. It's like, I don't think we can do that area yet. That's not what we're after, though, so not a big deal. I love this. This area looks so much like Venice when you get close to the edge of the city. I will say, it's a pretty game. It kind of holds up after all this time. I mean, I have it running full blast, and most things couldn't have run it. Uh, well, I don't know, actually. The PC versions have always been pretty, good, pretty well optimized. You know, until they're not, and... They bug out. That's the thing. This game is mostly bugs, not necessarily um, graphical glitches that <laughs> stutter or anything like that. I mean, I've got a solid 60 FPS in the corner, the game tells me, so I'm happy with that. All right, let's see. Let's go up here. Thankfully, there's no bonus objectives when killing a... Uh, oh. If I randomly run across a chest like this, I'll get it. I don't think that's out of the ordinary. Oh, and those jars of leeches and everything, there's like a minor crafting component, I think, in this game? Or am I thinking of... Am I thinking of Revelations? I might be thinking of Revelations. Oh, he game? Hello. That was weird. Where are you? Well, he's behind his cronies, so... I will, in fact, probably have to, uh... Kill him the proper way. Involving lots of swords. Possibly? Unless you can get to him from the other side. Well, there's a big boy right there. I think this may have to involve the, uh... Normal way of death. Let's see, who do you have? Oh, oh, this is another way to do it. So he starts to flee. Come on. All right, whatever. The cat. Wait, where did he? You. Mm. All right. So we can run past all the. What? How did he get out? Is it just he has, he has to leave the red area? I'm going to call bull on that. Next guard shifter at dawn. I don't even know when that is. Like, I truly don't know when the game will reset that. I've never had that happen. They've never escaped from me, but I'm a little out of practice with Brotherhood. And maybe I'm trying to do all this a little too early. Am I just locked out of it? That <sighs> seems so goddamn annoying. To be locked out of doing something... Well, you failed. Well, looks like you'll just have to wait. What if this was, this was the last thing for me to do in the game? Oh my god. Next guard shift at dawn or dusk. When is that? It's not like the game has a... As far as I know, the game doesn't have a day-night cycle. So I truly... Oh, I haven't... Oh god. The controls are really bad on uh, on PC. I'm not going to lie. I'm not enjoying this. They really were thinking only about... uh. They were only thinking about controller when they made this, I guess. It's funny, because the first two games had normal keyboard and mouse support. And even though this one shows like the button prompts and everything... It's not very good at it. It doesn't feel natural. Alright. Well, let's go for this one and maybe the other one will respawn. Right, that was weird. Why do you stumble on that? So not every captain will run and not every captain will fight, obviously. 
It's a little different with each one. This one is right in the middle of everything. He's not in a particularly good area to fight. What the fuck? Game. Alright, so... We're basically, like, right above where he normally is. Ah. Well, there we go, he's dead. Oh, okay, hello. Alright, alright. You can do that! There we go. That's the button I'm looking for. Dear lord. Get out your goddamn sword, Ezio. Alright. I can't move, game! He won't let me move, because there's a haystack near me. I can't move. Oh my god! Like... The game will not let me move! I guess it really wants me to get the courtesans to do this, but I know you can do it without them. I mean, hell! There, there's a really easy way to do this- oh, wait. It respawned me here? Did this guy respawn? I would have thought it would have put me near the other guy, but I guess not. Or is this the guy I just went after? Fucking these asshole. Damn, amigo. We only wish the dog stand after him. God damn, the fucking crossbow guards are so annoying. I got them. Get him. Uh, Enough. Die. You know what? I will loot him. And if that guy appears, I'm just gonna friggin... There there should be a way to go right into the... Haystack, though. Is there not? There we go. What... is happening? I don't... What is going on? Okay... Like, I'm not crazy, the game is actually bugging out at times. And I think you can climb out of here too, so... I'll probably end up doing that. Hello, Hello game! What in the f fuck? This is insane! What is happening? Alright. There we go. Now we can start killing. Oh good. Come on! What is happening with the fucking camera and everything? Like, what is going on? Why is he so far from me? Get him, get out of here. 
What is happening? Stop changing my camera angle game. What are you doing? Why can't I kill him? I'm going to die because the game's freaking going crazy. I have people that aren't even in the fight with me that are freaking attacking. There we go. I, I... I was just talking about how the game wasn't really that buggy. That was insanely bugged. I just... Come on, game. And watch, this is going to be a guy with a crossbow and he's going to just get in my way the whole time. Hello, Ezio. Move. Thank you. Go. Are, why are you not climbing? I, I, I've never had this many problems with the game. Never. Not with the controls. Not with, like, the guard alerts or anything. I also can't jump for some reason. Why can't I do the upwards jump? It's like a necessary ability for half the th half of these things. And I know you don't forget how to do it. I mean, we did it in the opening scene. Oh, or is it a dumb thing like he's hurt so he can't do it type thing? Is that what's happening here? Is that why I can't have access to my necessary jump up ability that might be the case actually at the very least we'll synchronize we'll do this and we'll move on maybe I should go back to the other tower and do it real quick good night Okay, that kills everything around here. We're getting closer. I guess I'll, I'll take care of that one behind us later. But I will do the two viewpoints that are near my next quest. Just to see the area a little bit better. And know where I'm going, what I'm doing. My god, though, the game bugged that whole thing up. Is that a pickpocket that's after me? Come on! Climbing on things that aren't even climb- or trying to run up things that aren't even climbable. Ezio, please. Oh, I can't get over there yet. I guess it does lock you off. I mean, I've never tried to... ...do everything that I possibly could in an area before in this game, but... I would think that you would be able to access more than this. There's another reason for me doing all this as well. If you remove the Borgia influence, there's less guards about, which makes some of the secondary objectives that exist in the game a little bit easier to fulfill. Because you don't have to worry about running into a bunch of people that are, you know, wanting to kill you. It doesn't always work, but it does help. Alright, so let me get this viewpoint real quick, because it's right here, and then we'll go talk to Machiavelli, because he's waiting for us. I'm assuming that this is going to be more... Um... Oh, there's another one of the things here. I'm assuming that this is going to be more... Story stuff. Or tutorial stuff, rather, is what I wanted to say. Where is, uh... Aha! Uh -huh. Funny enough, you can actually sh grab onto them. Drop down onto them from build above. What's behind the cube? Oh, 
knows? Well, I know. I will say, this reveal isn't nearly as interesting as the reveal from Assassin's Creed 2. At least in my opinion, it's not. Loading. It feels more afterthoughty, like, oh, we had this in Assassin's Creed 2. We have to have it in 3. Loading. Is that Morse code? I don't know what the Morse code is. Access denied. Washington sits above the green in 1944, keeping a cool head. Below the right one is the standard bearing 48. Behind there is a company whose power is growing. Okay then. Washington sits above the green. It would all be done in secret. The assassins would never know until it was too late. Okay. Owing to pressure from below, the pressure of the masses, the bourgeoisie may sometimes concede certain partial reforms while remaining on the basis of the existing social economic system. How can I adopt a creed which preferring the mud to the fish exalts the bourgeois proletariat above the bourgeois and the intelli intelligen intelligentsia? Who, with whatever faults, are the quality in life and surely can carry the seeds of all human advancement. I'm, I'm avoiding things in particular. Harry Dexter, white. Remember his name. I find myself more and more relying for a solution of our problems on the invisible hand, which I tried to eject from economic thinking 20 years ago. Nineteen ten. All right. Am I supposed to be clicking on these things? Incorrect coordinates. Enter passcode. All right, so. Forty eight I M F. Right one, one four eight I M F. Incorrect coordinates. All right. Oh, wait, there was another thing here. Incorrect coordinates. So you have to find, like, the right key. Can you just try all of them, I wonder? I don't know. There's something right there. I like searching all these in anyway. And said it was incorrect coordinates, so advice. The red forty eight. That's the atomic number of cadmium. I don't need to tell you that. Two complete day and night cycles, maybe? Or 48 red balloons? I do know that the mountain in one of the images is Mount Washington. That seems to fit the clue. So the answer to 48 is most likely below it. There we go. You have to find the assassin symbol. Now we have the key, and we know that... Zero is... Oh, no, wrong one. Zero is that. The five should be right. Oh, when nine is this, then two will be five. When four is this, seven will be zero. When five is this, nine will be also zero. And when zero is 
this. Eight will be this guy. Nope, wrong one. Has a straight down. No. I'm trying to like tilt my head. That's the right one. Okay, seven zero in that case. And zero is on nine. Oh, I did the wrong zero, didn't I? Then two will be four. No. Two four one zero is over nine. When the R is over four, then seven is. Oh, seven's the wrong zero as well. I didn't realize there were two zeros. When five is on this guy, which zero is nine on? Wait. That one. That is the correct zero. Okay, there we go. That one worked. Loading. This one, those ones are a lot more difficult. Fellow rulers, welcome. I deliver the speech to you as several floors below us. A silent revolution begins. Randy Olds and Henry Ford, as many of you know, these founders gave us the assembly line, the device we have used to control both those indoctrinated into the worship of our money, capitalists, and those workers, slaves alike. But I dream of a future in which such ugly change will no longer be necessary. In 1910, our founders designed the plan. It falls to us to see it through. But what of the communists who intend to spread the bread so thin that everyone will starve? It is our duty to neutralize, save them, and their followers. We must ensure that they continue to eat, to reproduce, to be productive members of society. That is our burden, to shepherd those beneath us through life. And we must embrace it, even if force is required. They themselves do not. H&S brought on the turmoil and fear necessary. Now we must strike fear, strike fast to ensure development continues in the proper direction. We will appear to concede ground to the workers. Remember the successful ruse of Rockefeller's dimes, but soon there will be no ground we do not own. In 1937, we founded this company, this enterprise with a purpose. The time to nourish it to fruition is upon us. Loading. As a concession, a small piece of sacrifice for the greater good to come. Loading. Quarantine zone. Where is it? Quarantine there we go. Lifted. Oh, okay, I think looking for something from 16, but last time scanning an eagle vision seemed to help. Yeah, 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 I got it. Oh, I can't go up that because those shutters are closed. These shutters are open. Can't go up that either? Ah. Go along the crack. Get to these shutters, go up. Oh, we can't do that either, huh? I don't know how that's any different than the place we just were, but okay. Ah, oh, it's pretty. It's very large, too. Very large map. I can see why they decided to make it just one map for this game. One massive map, I will say. All right, let's finally go talk to Machiavelli. We've dicked around enough. Oh, did I just steal from somebody? Oops. Did you liberate your money from our friend? 
I did. A small victory. They are up. And in time, with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us, and we'll be broken again. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. Okay, then. Who's got mail? Catch the Borgia Courier in under one minute. Hey, boy. That one could be a little bit more difficult. Especially because I don't know if there's any way to redo those. Following Machiavelli as he runs over all the citizens of the city. Jesus, dude. Just hitting everyone. Wow, we, we are terrible to the common people. T to be fair, all the AI kind of is. That's a very, very pretty backdrop. Color of the sky is changing and everything. Look at these facades masquerading as government. The Pope is very clever to keep this place in business. It fools your friend, the people, quite easily. When did you become so cynical? I merely describe the reality of Roma today. But all may not be lost. The good news is that we have allies in the city. How much longer this will last, however, I cannot say. Yeah, there is a thing on the Colosseo, of course. But, uh, I don't know where. Perdonati, mi signore. You must be mistaken. Who are you working for, ladro? I am working for no one. Then no one will care what we do to you. Bonk. Alright, game. I didn't go into, uh... I didn't go into freaking... Eagle Vision there, but okay. Alright. Apparently my counter means nothing. Grazie. Where is it? The courier still has the letter. Ezio, stop him! Find me at the thermos! Alright, so we gotta get this guy in under a minute. For the full thing. Which we can do just by tackling him. Bonk. We got it. 100%. Alright. So before we leave here... We should probably find that thing. Is even visible for, from anything? New emails. Oh, is that the game's way of telling you, Hey, you should check the outside world. Maybe we'll do that in this episode. Because there is some stuff that we can do. Oh man, I do not remember where this thing is. Is it along the outside? Like in the interior here? This is one of the largest areas in the game to try and find this needle in a haystack. But once you're done with it, you're done with it, you know? Thank god it's not a viewpoint too. And this is the way that we can get up. Hmm? I see something, but that's just a chest. God, that you go you come to this area more than once, I will say that. Getting everything in the Colosseum is difficult at first. And of course, there's people working here. Is it on the outside? Okay. Wait. What was that? I'm being paranoid. Oh, Lord. It is not worth searching for this right now, is it? Well, 
there's people here. You should spend more time in God's house. Yeah, I do not know off the top of my head. It is definitely hidden here. Well, now. Maybe I should just look this one up. Someone just die? What the heck happened? Okay, so I looked it up. It is going to be all the way up. So we have to climb, climb, climb. I don't remember how to perfectly climb this place. But it's like right next to a viewpoint that exists on the Colosseum, I believe. So we can go up here. Danza del Diablo? Dance with the devil? What? Oh, come on, game! God, that's annoying. There we go. Alright, this brings us up here. And it's... On the outside of this place. Probably near the top here? What's the point of this dancer del diablo? How rude the Well there's the moon. Alright, wait. Northwest corner. I think I read something on the outside up top, so... We don't have to get higher to- Oh, maybe we do. Maybe we have to go up there. Okay, how do you... From here? Whew! Well, it's definitely high now. Should be out here? There's a viewpoint here, so we can get that. I don't think this viewpoint's even on our map yet. Nope, I did not want to do it twice. Sometimes you can eagle vision in the viewpoint. No, not what I wanted. So it should be. Right on the outside here. Here we go. Uh, this does mean we got to be very careful coming down to it. Woo! There we go. Don't want to fall off, obviously. Cluster four. Loading. Mm hmm. These intelligent workers have no self control. Well. Oh. We've got people working at a mill. Uh. Oh. Are we looking for machines?
automatons of some sort. Automated things. Hmm. Something of that nature, I believe. Or do they mean the people? Factory workers, maybe. Maybe not. Not that. Oh, okay, the literal Landing. robot. But not the traffic light, which is pretty much a robot? Scanning. Scanning. Apple, oranges, Scanning. pears, cucumbers, radish, carrots, Scanning. spinach, dates, wood, juniper, steel, aluminum, water, rain, shanty, village, town, city, country, spring, summer, fall, winter, to walk, to sing, to dance, to play, to eat, to smile, to l cry, to kill, to laugh, to see, to know, to death, regret, love. Loading. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. That's one way to do it. So we control the outside as well here. This is just the one. This controls the inner ring as well. This controls that ring, okay. These two. Well, these two are synchronized now. Means we have to get this synchronized. Get those two synchronized, perhaps? Goodness, this is difficult. Oh, this one moves alone. No, I think I did it. There we go. It is possible to invent a single machine which can be used to compute any computable sequence. I'm not interested in developing a powerful brain. After all, all I'm after is a mediocre brain. Loading. Alan Turing set out to solve the plate of the workers. M equal Q... Oh, Lord. Uh, well, we're in check. Aha. Loading. Oh, okay then. Ah, right. You need to add together waves in order to create the one on the right. I should be fairly good at this, given my profession. V, it's N. I need Turing done today. Why are we jumping the gun? You've already had him arrested and sedated. He still refuses to follow the directive. He's actually trying to invent one of those infernal things instead of merely faking it for the newspapers. If he succeeds... You know what the mass unemployment generated by his robots will mean? Idle hands. We need to do this for the good of the people. What about Keynes? He trusted Turing. It's the greater good we're talking about here, V. Plus, a childless worker sends a bad message. We can't have them all stop reproducing. Fine. It's your call. I want it done like we did Harry Dexter White when he tried to warn the Soviets. All right. Be poetic about it. Maybe something from the Bible. Turing always was. 
theatrical. Loading. Quarantine zone. There's one. Oh, I saw the second one. Quarantine lifted. Oh, there were three. I guess I managed to do it. Okay then. Well, we're done with the top of the Colosseum for now. So that's good. Quite a climb. It's a whole thing to get up here. Alright, let's get down the easy way. Horse? Horse. Let's go say hello to Machiavelli. We got his letter for him after all. Very pretty area as well. You can note it eventually. Just like pretty much everything else in the game. Can we not ride the horse in here? Did we need to go beyond this? Who knows? Oh, here we go. This is where we needed to go. Don't lose any health, huh? Okay. Oh, goodness. All right. All right, start execution streaking them. Still haven't lost any health. There we go. Followers of Romulus. Oh, right. I remember this. This is just a thing for, like, the Romulan armor, isn't it? They're not worth looting for the most part. So this basically replaces the um, entire idea of the, like, assassins dungeons and stuff. All right, if it'll ever load, this should be loading us a place where we can um, do a little bit of parkour. The parkour puzzle. Complete the memory within eight minutes. Oh, God. It is uh, very possible to do all that within the time limit. Um, however... Like, not knowing it and not remembering any of it, it is far more difficult. Oh. And stuff like that doesn't help either. What? Oh, and then press space. I was like, why are you not doing it? That's you. Uh, forward? Up. Okay. Do we have to get over there? There's a second one here. Are we timed to get between them? I don't remember. I think you just need to activate all four. Woo! Almost didn't get that one.
Okay, from here, do we have to... Yes. I remember one of the corners you have to actually get to to get to the others. This will lead us here. And one final one. I believe we can get to just by doing this. Oh, or not. Oh, boy. And thus, I think we have actually failed the entire thing. Well, actually, I don't think it's been eight minutes yet. Maybe it is still possible. Was it, like, along the wall that I needed to go? Ah, okay. Like, it's here and then there. Now we go this way? Yeah. I mean, it's not the entirety of the memory, but it's part of it. one way to do it, I suppose. <gasps> Dive! There may be more members of Romulus here. Well, we're heading this way. God, I forgot that there are flags here. Oh. Is there anything else in this area that I don't remember? Shoot. I think that should be the only real thing. Okay. From here. Where are we going? Up there. I see. We may not be able to do this in eight minutes. Because it's the entirety of the memory. And it'll let us know. When we fail. Thankfully. You don't have to wait until the end of the goddamn memory. And then we're just going to restart it. And do it properly. Because, uh... Yeah, I'm not doing this stuff over and over again. That gets us back here. Pretty sure people are gonna jump out and attack us now. No? Was that happen to one of the last ones? Around the corner, gets us here. Get up. Woo! In here, open the door. I think this is the last area of this particular one. I could be wrong, though. Oh, okay, then. We're going all Pompeii on this, are we? You're trying to get everything, it really doesn't help that there's hidden items all over the place. Is that even worth it? Actually, yes. At this point in the game, that was actually worth it. It's just a question of remembering it all. Whew. Alright, come on, Ezio. I know it's hot. 
And I know this is difficult. But I got some friggin' stuff I need to take care of. Ooh. Oh, I would not want to try and make these jumps. <coughs> See, I'm sneezing just from the thought of the dust. Alright. I believe we can head up here. And then we just go across. Seems like the way to do it. I don't see any other... ...things I'd be missing out on. Not yet, anyway. No treasures I'm missing? Probably have. Not a big deal. Hello? Alright, get past here. Nope, one more area. Dang it. Makes me wonder, were there really just feral people living under Rome at this point in time? I'd believe it. It seems like a weird, fun part of history to explore. Alright, well, there's a chest up there, but... Oh, wait, crap. Is that where I came from? That's where I came from. Don't go that way. The answer is not there. You really gotta, like, speed run these areas if you want the, uh... The completion. No, 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 no. You dang. Dingus. But of course, that means you need to have already done it because you need knowledge of it. I don't really like these particular challenges. I think that gives us a I can get back up here. shortcut. I don't know why. You don't particularly need that shortcut. I guess you might if you go for the uh, chest here. And I think if you want the chest, hello? Okay, I guess not. There we go. Just turn around, come over here. Elephant ivory and a lot of money. Worth it. Oh. That's, uh... 30 seconds, huh? I do... Oh, okay. We're gonna restart this now, and I'll just get back to the part we were. So, getting back to this point, I'll explain something that I just did. Um, basically... You can sort of cheat the timer a little bit if there's an extra chest that's out of the way that you want to get and um, you think you're going to run out of time if you go for it, like that one down there, you will see, is already gotten. Oh man, how did I do that? How did I get that chest even though, well, I haven't done it yet or I didn't get to that spot or all that. There is a way to sort of cheat around the game uh, and I'll explain it to you right now. I'll show you. Actually, um, if there's a chest you want to get and you think you're going to run out of time, you want to grab the chest and then desynchronize yourself. Now, the easiest way to do that is to kill Ezio. And the easiest place to do that is to run to fire of some sort. Uh, unfortunately, this fire doesn't work here. I wish it did. Um, in fact, I don't know if there's a way to get back to a place that you can kill yourself here. I'm pretty sure there is. Wait, hold on. Did I just screw myself and I have to redo it again anyway? Trying to explain this for the fucking... Oh, I was on track and everything. But because I... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. 
Nope, we can't get back up there now. It's locked off. Well, damn it. Okay, so I guess once you get past this point, you can't go any further, but I'll explain what I was doing. Basically, if you desynchronize yourself by dying, which is easiest than jumping in the fire uh, bed in the previous area, uh, you will essentially get keep all the items that you got um, along the way, like... Uh, up until that point, but it will reset you to the last checkpoint with the time that you had left. So, yeah. Well, now I have to restart it anyway, now that I've described that, but it's an interesting way to sort of game the system a little bit. I should have just kept going instead of trying to describe it. I find these a lot easier to do with some silence. That's why I'm not, like... Super talking over these, but that could help I guess I should I fall. try to give some commentary as to what the heck I'm doing. All right, at f at this point we've got little over two minutes to complete the rest of this. I think that's entirely doable, but there is one more collectible in this area, and the camera doesn't always cooperate. Ooh. Okay. We're most of the way there. Okay. I think it wants us to go here? Okay. Oh, this will go forward. We go up here. Little cutscene. Perfect. I route up if I fall. And then we go forward. Okay. I don't know if we have enough time. I'm... Oh, uh, hello, Ezio, come on, please. Just get to a point where you can get up, please. Thank you. So the idea is you would just go... to the left here, but... we want to get this extra item. We need to come over here. Jump down. And that is the Borgia flag. However, it does mean that we need to redo... This one area, which leaves us with exactly a, m a minute to do this. Hopefully I don't have to restart it yet again, because I've gotten everything else up to here. Yes, I used that little trick to save me some time. It is a good trick for that. Come on, Ezio. Turn to the left. And this should be last thing we need to get up here. Claim the treasure of the followers of Romulus. Let's just... Can you please? Because I'm sure... I'm pretty sure this... Finishes out the memory for us. Scroll of Romulus 1. I leave my family's armor here. One of the finest that's ever made. May you who finds it receive strength in battle. Change of handwriting. We have taken it and set it back behind the iron door. Six keys unlock it. Spread amongst our brothers. It shall be said to come from Romulus. And they will worship it. Oh, Hello? Zoom to see image data. Ooh, Brutus! I believe... Well, that gives us a checkpoint. Oh, we have... It's still timing us. We have to exit... Within the time, too. So if we want all these, we gotta be real quick. Can't dilly-dally. Really annoying that if you want all of the loot... Oh, God. It's only been five seconds, but it feels like four minutes, you know? Alright, and I think we completed it with... Oh, no. It's still at 52. I think we got it. Full synchronization there. I don't know what the Golden Boy achievement is. Is it for getting full sync there? I don't know. Now, I know I'm going to need to cut out some stuff here. Um, so, I don't entirely know how long this episode is going to be, but I th think we're going to have to call it here. The followers of Romans. Well, after this cutscene. false pagans has been terrorizing the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church. Quite convenient. Exactly. 
I believe the Borgia are supporting them, but proof remains scarce. That is why the letter is so important. Here it is. I hope you can break a cipher. Cazzo! Another encryption. This one was supposed to be legible. They are transmitting them using a code sheet. Without it, we have nothing. Sometimes logic is not the only way to win a war. Antiamo, you said we had allies in this city. Bring me to them. Follow me. Oh, I guess we're following him. So our income increased, we have a good bit of money. There is a viewpoint, like, right- Oh, the aqueducts. Yeah, we should do this real quick. Although I think the game is going to complain about me getting too far away from him. Yep. Sure is. God damn it. Why give me access to an area if you won't let me do it? Oh, it's going to introduce me to this. I see. We recently began traveling through the tunnels to avoid the guards. But many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. Alright, well... Give me a second, because... I'm getting this viewpoint while well, I can. Architects. Oh, oh, I see. Got a deposit in the bank. Yay. Let's get this viewpoint real quick. Oh, wait. Can we not get this one yet? This one specifically may be unattainable until later. Uh... I... okay. I think this one involves us, like, getting on the wall over there. Oh, okay. Randomly fell into that one. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure this one involves us getting up there first and then running along the aqueduct to get to it. It is not accessible normally. So, never mind. Okay, anyways. Uh, we're going to do some checking of a bunch of different things. But, I guess more importantly, next time is when we're going to be doing them. Ah, it's so annoying, I forgot about this viewpoint. Is this thing on, like, the other side of it, too? Oh, it might be up there or something. Eh, who knows. Anyway. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye